What is a misfire? Welcome to Mercy J Auto Care, where compassion and craftsmanship come together. I'm Rick Smith, Master Certified Technician. Now when your check engine light's on and you have a P03 series code, so like a 301, 302, 306, that's a misfire code. And the 301 would be cylinder one, 306 would be number six, etc. So what does it take for a cylinder to fire? Well, your piston starts out at the top, your intake valve opens, and like a syringe, it sucks in air and fuel. Then the valves close, the piston comes up, it compresses all that. When it gets to the top and it's all nice and compressed, the spark plug fires it, shoves the piston down, just like if you're pushing your leg down on a bicycle crankshaft. And then after that completes the firing process, then the, piston, the exhaust valve opens, the piston comes up and pushes it out of the tailpipe. So three things we have to have. One is that spark plug has to fire. So ignition coils, spark plugs, things like that need to make that happen. Number two is we have to have fuel. So the fuel pump has to pump pressure. The injector has to squirt fuel into the cylinder. The third thing we have to have is that compression. And so like we could have anything like this 2012 Caravan that had a P0302 that the exhaust valve was leaking, so we had low compression, we had to do a cylinder head. So you could need anything from a cylinder head to a major engine problem, to a simple spark plug, to an injector, or even a vacuum leak. So I've helped, I hope this has helped you understand a little bit more about what a misfire is and what those P03 dot 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 codes are. And until next time, safe travels and blessings to you.